Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. You're probably familiar with all the different AI tools that are found in Luminar 4. I mean, after all, that's what's been getting all the press. But really, if you stop to think about it, for the vast majority of our images, we just do straight image processing and we really don't use any AI functionality for our day-to-day -day image processing. And I believe many people are probably wondering, well, how good is the processing engine in Luminar 4? How quickly can I process my image and what's the end result going to be? Is it going to be something that I like? Well, in this video, I'm going to attempt to answer that question. I'm going to process this landscape image. I'm not going to use any of the AI tools in Luminar 4, and I'm just going to process it from beginning to end. And you could judge for yourself how effective the processing engine is in Luminar 4. Now, if you don't already own Luminar 4, I encourage you to download their free trial. It's a fully working trial. In the description below the video, I'll have a link to it. And I also have a discount code. And if you do per uh, decide to purchase it, use my discount code and you could save a few dollars. All right, this is really going to go very quickly. So you could start the timer right now. Now, I'm in the Essentials panel. I'm going to go to the Light tab. And right away, I look at the image and the shadows are a little dark. So I'm going to go right to the shadow slider and open up those shadows. I'm going to rein in the highlights a little bit. I'm going to go to advanced settings and I'm going to hold the option key on my Mac. And if you have a PC, it's alt key and you could move the whites to the right till I start to see some color coming through that I'm starting to clip those whites. You can see I'm starting to clip the red channel right in the middle and I'll back that off. Similarly for blacks, I'll hold my option key in. Again, it's the alt key on a PC and I'll get a black point and that looks pretty good and already just moving four sliders it looks pretty nice so i'm going to just add a little bit of contrast then i'm going to zoom in and i'm going to go to denoise and i'm going to go to luminosity denoise and put that let's say at 20. we'll start there and color denoise i don't see much color noise we'll put that to 10 ish i still see some luminosity noise so i'll move that to 25. Let it render. Looks good. I don't see any noise now. So we did denoise. Now really, it is super colorful. I don't think I really have to do any color adjustments. I don't have to add any vibrance or saturation or go down to advanced settings and do anything there. I think the color is good. As a matter of fact, I think it's pretty much done. So I'm going to go to the vignette uh, tab and I'm going to add a darker vignette to it. And I'm going to call it a day. So really, that is how powerful the processing engine is in Luminar 4. The tone is so easy to set and it's so effective, you really get a nice image. And as you could see, I didn't really have to sharpen it because it's pretty sharp as it is. So why bother? It looks good. Just because the tool is there doesn't mean you have to use it. So... Um, I think it looks good the way it is, and I consider this done, and I did it very, very quickly. So, hopefully this uh, gives you an idea of how powerful the processing engine is in Luminar 4. Again, download that free trial, try it out for yourself, and if you decide to purchase it, use my discount code. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.